Hello everyone, this is yet another video series of the Visual Studio editing tips that we have. Now in this quick video I'm going to teach you some of the things that I have come across and it may be all for the advanced and the expert users but for the new people out there or for the beginners so to speak it might be new. So uh, let's quickly get to the first uh, technique that I would like to share with you. Now you might have come across many situations where you would like to select the last part of the line for example if you want to select this and this and this and this. So if you do as you can see this portion is also getting selected but I don't want that. So in order to do that what I can do is that hit the alt button on my keyboard and then I can select only that portion of my line and then I can do whatever I want with this. So that's one way of doing that and if you want to comment this line all you can do is that you can just use this uh, comment out this thing and it will be commented. If you want to uncomment you can uncomment that. You can even use the shortcut on your keyboard that is control K C that will comment that and in order to uncomment that you can control K U that will uncomment that. Now there is one very wonderful technique that they have uh, included with the Visual Studio 2005 as well as in 2008 and that is called code snippet. For example if you are writing something in uh, uh, C sharp or in VB and you do not remember the syntax well we all know that we cannot remember the syntax all the time. So there is something called code snippet so in order to uh, expose that or in order to view how that sounds like or how that looks like all you can do is that just right click on any blank area or where you want to insert that just say insert snippet and here we'll get all the uh, snippets that they are. Now currently we are working with Visual C Sharp so I have the C Sharp here I'll double click on that and then I'll get all the snippet all the core snippets that are there. For example if I want to include something for enum I want to define enums so instead of remembering all the syntax all I can do is that just come to insert snippet visual C sharp and enum and as you can see right here or what I can do is that let's say let's not in insert this one here insert this one in a new line for example okay I'll come to insert snippet visual C sharp and then we have the enum and then here you can write the name of your enum and, and I hope you know what enum is. If you don't, check my other videos and I've uh, uh, shown what enum is. This control. You can even use the shortcut key to bring up the insert snippet. You can use control K X and it will bring up that. And then you can go for all the things. What you can also do is that, for example, if you want to include the code or if you want the Visual Studio IDE to include uh, to, to fill in the remaining portion of the code for the for loop all you can do is that just type for and hit the tab button twice. Did you see that? It just included all the code for you here. Similarly for uh, try catch block let's say if you see try it included the whole block for you. We have the catch then we have the throw so it's that easy. All you have to do is that just type the beginning letter of your uh, of your code and then hit the tab button twice. It will fill in the remaining part of the code. So that's how it is done. Now this now you want to view all the code snippet that you have available in your Visual Studio. For that you need to go to the tools menu go to the code snippet manager here and then it says visual basic I will choose visual C sharp and there you go these are all the code snippets that are available and these are the snippets that we have or if it says the author was Microsoft who wrote that you can even add yours you can add your code snippet here you can even import and when you try to import as you can see it is giving you the extension as dot snippet that is the file extension for that file so that's uh, how it is done and I hope that 
you like my video and I'll be coming up with some more videos in the future so keep tuned in and thank you very much for watching this video.